So I went to the, I chose the medical school that had the most nutrition training of any in the country. So this is Tufts. So they have a nutrition school, a graduate uh, degree, and so they have a lot of nutrition faculty. And so we got 29 hours. Now that is out of thousands of hours of preclinical pre instruction. And most of that was kind of biochemistry of vitamins, Krebs cycle, not clinical nutrition, not using nutrition to actually treat and reverse chronic disease. And so I got the most, and it was just a pittance. One long weekend, you could have learned everything that I learned about nutrition. And when you think of the leading killers, about 80% of the preventable deaths are these chronic diseases that are diet and lifestyle completely preventable, type 2 diabetes, obesity, hypertension, heart disease, some of the cancers. I mean, this is, I mean, it's a travesty that people continue to suffer and die when we have the tools, we have the knowledge, we just, the system is such that it just doesn't reward that kind of behavior. It doesn't make anybody money. I mean, so when you hear about, I mean, you'll hear about the latest drug or surgical technique, because there'll be an ad on TV. I mean, you know, you know, ask your doctor about. But, you know, if some new study comes out, some amazing property of broccoli, you're never going to hear about it. It's just going to get better. Why? I mean, because there's no, there's no corporate budget driving its promotion. You'll never see an ad on TV for sweet potatoes for the same reason, right? There's just no money. There's, and it's not a patented or branded product. Even a sweet potato grower is not going to spend money advertising sweet potatoes because you'll just buy someone else's sweet potato. Like, you know, it's not a... And so it doesn't even make sense from that, you know, standpoint. So it doesn't make anybody money. Doesn't, no one profits, but except for the patient. I mean, what about, what about if our lives would profit? I mean, how many people have had their loved ones die from preventable disease? Heart disease is our number one killer, yet it can be prevented, treated, reversed, without drugs, without surgery, with diet and lifestyle change, particularly diet, a whole food plant-based diet, is more powerful than anything we have in medicine when it comes to some of these chronic diseases. Yes, obviously it's cheaper, obviously it's safer, but what many doctors don't realize is it's more effective too in many cases.